Hello and good afternoon, good morning friends. Welcome to the CEC Edisit Live Lecture. Dear friends, as you know that um, uh, Digital India Week is going on and this is the, that is today is the last date day of the Digital India Week and uh, so far uh, we have conducted numerous lectures and in every lecture we have said that uh, CC is making commendable efforts um, in imparting e-education whether it is uh, through the live streaming or with the help of the programs we have in our digital library. So dear friends taking the lecture forward I would like to tell you all that um, uh, we have started uh, with the series on no operations management and uh, under this series we have conducted numerous lectures. Uh, since our uh, previous lectures, we have been talking about JIT, we have been talking about various aspects, various perspectives of uh, JIT. Today also we are going to talk on JIT that is just in time and uh, under this very topic we are going to discuss on uh, setup time reduction. Now what is setup time reduction under JIT? Uh, Let us welcome uh, Dr. Subhash Kakar for uh, uh, this very lecture and try to understand more about JIT. I would like to tell you all that uh, Dr. Subhash Kakkar is an uh, eminent academician who with the help of uh, his knowledge disseminate um, uh, to the students whatever he has gained in his entire life. So dear friends let us take advantages from his experiences and try to understand about GIT and uh, the very concept of uh, setup time reduction. So first of all I would like to welcome our guest Dr. Subhash Kakkar. Dr. Kakkar welcome Hello. to the Reset Lecture. Hello viewers. Thank you for an elaborate introduction and now I welcome my viewers to this lecture on JIT. I want to remind my viewers that we are having lectures on the series on a subject which is operations management. Under operations management we started a topic JIT and we have devoted so far four lectures on this particular topic. Today again we will talk about GIT with another aspect and this is setup time reduction. As you know the operations are becoming big and big, large and large due to acquisition of businesses. With the result we want to compete in the market competition is becoming tough and tough and we want to increase the market share, we want to have a stand in the market share. For that everyone in the organization is looking for scope for reduction in cost, improvement in efficiency. Wherever these two things are possible, nobody is leaving any stone unturned, everyone is trying to get gain from reducing the cost and gaining profit. And JIT is also one of the techniques in that direction. Just in time, lean manufacturing, lean operations. What do I mean by lean? I have already explained my, in my earlier lectures. Lean is in general terms making the things free from fats. And if we talk about operations, operations fats are to be removed to make it lean. What are the fats attached to the operations? All the wastes which are generated during the operations are all fats. These are increasing the cost of operations, cost of manufacturing. And with the result the cost of the manufactured product is also increased and we want to remove all the wastes attached to the operations and then we will make the operations lean. This is the meaning of lean operations and this is also the meaning of just in time. So if we are able to remove the extra costs which are unnecessarily attached to the operations, this is known as making the operations lean and JIT is also a similar sounding term for lean manufacturing or lean operations. So people now look for the things where they can attack and reduce the waste. People come up with the ideas, so many ideas and they implemented those ideas and received the benefits. A number of times we have seen that 
if the company is in the operation of making a number of products and the production mix consists of not one product but number of variants of a main product. For making those variants, one has to make certain changes in the machines, one has to make certain changes in the process before manufacturing the final desired product. And these changes require some time. The idea behind reducing setup time is to reduce this change over time. This change over time is the time required for making the certain changes which will make the machine suitable for manufacturing a desired product from an existing manufacturing product. Say for example, the company is manufacturing product A and now the demand is for product B. Certain changes will have to be made in the machine and in the process which are suitable for only product B. We will have to stop the machine which is producing product A, then make the changes, then start the machine for manufacturing product certain minor adjustments will be required to be made on the machine so that we get a right quality of the product to be. Till that time our production will not go to the customer, till then the time taken by the machine is called the setup time or the change over time. And there are certain other terms also which are used in place of setup time and change over time. This is SMED. There are other terms also, we will talk about those terms and though these are similar sounding terms, but the meaning is slightly different in each case. We will bring out the differences in the meaning of these terms also, so that the viewers are well conversant with the meaning of these terms and they can make use of GIT in their respective organizations. Change over time reduction is also used in place of setup time reduction. <coughs> the meaning is same setup time reduction and also SMED. SMED is what? Single minute exchange of dye. Why the term dye is being used? Say we are manufacturing one product with one sort of dye, we have to manufacture another product with a different dye, then dyes will have to be changed. That is why the dye is used in this particular term SMED, single minute exchange of dyes. Dyes are exchanged, a new product is manufactured. Then there is one more term. OTED, now it is being used, one touch exchange of dye. Just make one touch only and the dye will be replaced. And that kind of efficiency we are looking for in the change over time. We do not want more time be wasted in making the setup change, because we want to have flexibility in operations. If the setup time is reduced, change over time is reduced and we are using SMED to its fullest extent, then we are really flexible. Our process is really flexible and our machines are also flexible. We can change it to any system, any product at any time without wasting much of time. So, change over time reduction, setup time reduction, SMED all these are similar sounding terms with a slight difference. Changeover, changeover is the process of converting a line or machine from running one product to another. As we have already explained, one product is being manufactured and we want to start manufacturing another product and the time taken in between for making changeovers is the changeover time. 
change over time can last from a few minutes to as much as several weeks in the case of automobile manufacturing, retooling for new models. In automobile industry, this change over time is rather an important issue being faced by different factories. Because changing the production line from one model to another model takes a lot of time. As mentioned in the slide, it takes from few minutes to few weeks. Sometimes people take four weeks to change the process line or the production line from one model to another in automobile industry. And for that period, there is no production, there is loss of production and the organization cannot afford to have idle machines for such a long time. So we want to reduce the time of changeover so that our machines are sitting idle for less period and there is more productivity from the machines. The term setup and changeover, these two terms the setup and changeover are sometimes used interchangeably. There is no difference in the meaning of setup and changeover, but we will define what is the difference at a later time. However, this usage is incorrect. Single minute exchange of die, another term which was given by a Japanese consultant is one of the many lean production methods for reducing waste in a manufacturing process. I would call this change over time and set up time as a waste of time. It can be small, it can be large also. If it is very large, large amount of time is being wasted in setting up the machine to a new production line. So one has to be careful in carrying out the activities during this change over time. We should plan the change over process in such a way that total time required for making all the changes is minimum. As far as possible, we should carry out the jobs simultaneously like concurrent engineering. Jobs should be carried out at more than one place of work all the tooling required for making the changeovers should be available near the operator who is making the changes. He should not be there to search for the tools which are required. The number of tools required for making the changeover should be minimum. I would say only one spanner be required for making all the bolts which are to be used for changeover and all these spanners etc should be available near the machine where changeover is being carried out and these tools cart be used and the tools cart is what? A cart containing all the tools which are to required for making the change. If this is possible we can be sure of reducing the time. So all efforts should be made so that we are able to minimize the change over time, setup time and we have to see what all methods can be used for making this reduction in time. SMED provides a rapid and efficient way of converting a manufacturing process for, from running the current product to running the next product. This rapid change over is key to reducing production lot sizes and thereby improving flow, mura. We know that muda, we know mura also. These are all wastage and we have to get rid of these wastages. And as I have told, these wastages are nothing but the fats attached to the operations. And through SMED, we want to reduce the setup time, we want to reduce the change over time. The phrase single minute, SMED, the full form is single minute exchange of dice. What is the meaning of single minute? It does not mean that we have to carry out the operations in only one minute 
and we cannot take more than one minute. It does not mean that single minute is the time taken for making a change in the dye or replacing the dye or exchanging the dye is in the single digit terms that it cannot be 10, it should be less than 10 means maximum time can be 9 minutes, it cannot be 10. The moment it goes to 10, it is two digit and we want that this time should be in single digit. This is the meaning of single minute in SMED. So, that phrase single minute does not mean that all changeovers and startups should take only one minute, but that they should take less than 10 minutes in other words a single digit minute. So, the time should be in single unit. So, up to 9 minutes it is excusable as far as that phrase single minute exchange of dies is concerned. So, in SMED the time is maximum is 9 minutes it cannot go beyond 9 minutes. If it goes beyond 9 minutes it will be in 2 digits. So, we are talking about the time in single unit only. This is the meaning of SMED. Closely associated is a yet more difficult concept and that is OTED and as per OTED it is only one touch exchange of die. You touch it once, you touch it once and die is replaced and to such an extent we want the reduction in change over time, set up time reduction. So, one touch exchange of die that is OTED which says change over scan and should take less than 100 seconds. A die is a tool used in manufacturing. However, SMED's utility is not limited to manufacturing. It goes beyond manufacturing also. Now, we have talked about OTED which says that setup time should be less than 100 seconds. OTED one touch exchange of die. Setup is only one component of changeover. Now, we will define the meaning between setup and changeover. A setup is only one component of entire changeover system. Example, a soft drink bottler may run 200 ml glass bottles one day. The soft drink manufacturer is running 200 ml glass bottles one day and the next day he wants to run 300 ml glass bottles. And with this from going from 200 ml to 300 ml, he wants some changes to be made in the process. For making the changes, he will have to stop the machine, make the changes and then start the production and this is the change over time. When we stop the production of one product and start the quality production of the second product, the time taken in between when the machine is sitting idle is the change over time. The three ups change over can be divided into three ups. When we talk about change over like startup, so we have to define these three ups which are part of a change over system. First one is clean up. Cleanup includes removal of previous product materials and components from the line. The process line is manufacturing a product and its production is to be stopped to convert the machine to new setup for a new product. So, we are talking about cleanup. Under cleanup, we are to remove all the finished product which is existing and which is produced or manufactured in the existing run and that should be removed from the production line. Any raw material which is as per the existing product should also be removed. Any scrap material 
which is as per the existing product is also to be removed. The entire machine is to be cleaned up and that is the meaning of cleaning up of the machine. So, clean up includes removal of previous product materials and components from the line. It may range from minor if only the label of a package is being changed. For example, from an English to a Spanish label, a product is there, initially we are manufacturing and it is to be sold to the English people, the label should be in English. So, and now we want to change the language of the label from English to Spanish, only this particular change is required to be made and this is a minor change, only changing the labels in the printing. So, to measure requiring complete disassembly of the equipment, cleaning and sterilizing of the line components in the case of an injectable pharmaceutical product. Now, we talked about major change and the minor change. In minor change, we took an example where only the label is to be replaced, but in the major change, say we are producing one sort of a pharmaceutical product and we want to change the pharmaceutical product. Under this entire machine is to be sterilized before starting the production of a new product. And here we require major cleanup procedure for changing it over to the new product. And this cleanup can be major, this cleanup can be minor also. This is the first up, clean up. Now we will talk about setup. This is a second up, set up. Set up is a process of actually converting the equipment. This may be achieved by adjusting the equipment to correspond to the next product or by changing non-adjustable change parts to accommodate the product. Typically, it will be a combination of both. Setup. Now, setup means we have to make certain changes in the settings of the machine. Sometimes these settings are available on the machine itself and you just move a knob and the setting is changed. This is one sort of setup. Another setup is there when you remove one part, maybe it is of a small size and you have to replace it by a bigger size part. This is also a setup change. So, setup change, whenever it is required, it may be required to make certain changes in the setting or make changes in the parts which are being used in the machine. So, this is the meaning of setup and this is the set second up in setup. Now, the third is startup. First, we said clean up, second is set up and the third up is start up. Start up is the time spent fine tuning the equipment after it has been started. It is characterized by frequent stoppages, jams, quality rejects and other problems. It is generally caused by variability in the clean up and set up or by variability in the product or its components. Last up is start up. After making clean up, after making set up, the machine is started. Machine now starts production, machine now starts manufacturing the product. At initial stages, there are finer settings to be made so that we are able to fine tune the product to suit our requirement. These finer changes which are made are part of the startup procedure. During startup, we, we may have to reject the manufactured product till it comes in line with our requirements. And these are basically minute and finer adjustments which are made on the machine settings to make the product suitable for our requirement. And all this variability is removed in the running process. Now, sequence dependent setup. Now, we will talk about sequence dependent setup. 
in the job shop scheduling sequence dependent setup occurs when a machine's setup time or cost for a particular job is determined by not only by the job but also by the previous job that the machine is currently set up for information on sequence dependent setup times or costs for n jobs can be stored in n by n matrix with all diagonal entries being zero of course the diagonal entries will be zero and we are now talking about the job shop scheduling diagonal entries must be zero since they correspond to the condition that the machine is already set up for the next job hence the set up time and our cost is zero because the machine is already set up for the new product in a job shop we are usually concerned with completing all of the jobs in the shortest possible time or least possible cost there are only two things which is our aim first one is the time required should be least and the second is the cost incurred should also be least the time it takes to complete all the jobs is called the make span so in a job shop we are usually concerned with completing all of the jobs in the shortest possible time or least possible cost the time it takes to complete all of the jobs is called make span now if setup time or cost does not exist as we have already told in the matrix or is not sequence dependent then in a single machine and job situation the make span or the total cost is not sequence dependent however when setup times or costs are sequence dependent make span or total cost too becomes variable so it clearly tells us once again i'll repeat if setup time or cost does not exist or is not sequence dependent then in a single machine end job situation the make span or total cost is not sequence dependent however when setup times are costs are sequence de dependent make span or total cost too becomes variable the size and the complexity of the problem grow rapidly as the number of jobs and machines in the problem increase obvious if we have number of jobs less the problems are also less if the number of jobs are more than one then we have to do a certain amount of planning so that all the jobs what we require to manufacture can be manufactured on the machines available in the minimum time and at the minimum cost a planning technique can be used for loading of the machines so that our aim is achieved why is smed important line down time is costly we need shorter change over times why because during the change over there is no production and that time lost is production lost and we don't want that situation where we are losing more time without producing anything so that time that idle time reduction we should look for methods to reduce it we are losing money when the line is down our manpower is sitting idle machines are sitting idle there is no production we have to take care that this idle time is reduced to a minimum value and that is done through smed it will what it will do if we carefully reduce the idle time or the change over time or the setup time we will increase the profit because we'll have more time for production more time for manufacturing and increases uptime 
since the downtime is reduced, the uptime will automatically get increased, creates capacity. If idle time of the machine is reduced, we will have extra capacity of the machine to produce more and more volumes. Create space in the warehouse. If again setup time is reduced, we will have a space in the warehouse also. We will be able to decrease the inventory. That is why we will have a more space available in the warehouse. Increases flexibility. Definitely, if setup time is reduced, the machines will be more flexible, our operations will be more flexible. Flexible in the sense, we can work on the customer demand and we shall be able to fulfill the customer demand without wasting time on keeping the machines idle for changeovers. When this changeover time is less, at any time we can change over it to any product required by the customer. That is the meaning of flexibility in operations. Reduces cost per unit. Since we have more time available for production and the workers productivity as well as the equipment productivity is increased and this is direct hit on the cost of the unit produced and the cost of the unit will get reduced. Makes it easier for the operator to change over less time, less efforts required and it becomes easier for the operator to make changes in the machine. Easier to train new operators, more time is available, we will put more people for training. Keeps all customers happy. Since our operations are now flexible, we are able to fulfill the demand of the customer in no time, then we are going to make our customers happy, more satisfied. Why is SMED important? We are discussing the importance of SMED. Improper setups can have negative effects on equipment reliability, safety and quality. These three things are affected by more setup times or improper setups. SMED supports TPM, total productive maintenance and reduces injuries to machine failures if the preventive maintenance is not carried out on time then the breakdowns will be more and machines will get injured and this is what we don't want uses mistake proofing or poka yoke is part of smed reduces injuries to machines and establishes standard work for all operators. Since the time required for setup, time required for changeover is less, we can standardize the time for all the operators. Assists with new operator training needs, training impacts also. Why is SMED important? We are discussing the importance of SMED. Controlling line downtime and it allows for better planning and supports a just in time strategy. Just in time strategy can be implemented if we are able to implement SMED in the organization. Less inventory, good implementation of SMED, and then it is going to give us less inventory. Accurate scheduling is possible with less of setup time, less of changeover time and more of SMED implementation. One item flow, lot size as minimum as one item is possible in just in time. That is a basic requirement of just in time operations. Increased flexibility, we have discussed in detail the flexibility of operations increases if we have SMED implemented in the organization. And better utilization of operators time, effective utilization of 
operators time will be there, they will not be wasting their time on just making changeovers and setting up the machines to a new product, but their main time will be utilized in manufacturing the product and that product is also of a good quality. Greater profit sharing, so more profit will be generated with the use of SMED and this profit will be shared by all. Greater customer satisfaction will be there, less time for giving a product to the customer, so customer will be more satisfied. That is the aim and meaning of SMED implementation. Where should SMED be used? SMED should be used on a machine or process which requires a complicated or time consuming setup. On the average 80 percent of a process is waste. So, this can be achieved if we map the process of setting up or map the process of changeover and look for modifications to be incorporated in the changeover process and make those changes and make the process very simple, less time consuming, more efficient and that is the way to reduce the time which is total waste. SMED is supported strongly by TPM, it should be used in an area to support visual management practice, where visual practices are possible implement the visual practices and these visual management practices will ensure the easy implementation of SMED and SMED goes side by side with TPM, total productive maintenance. When we are talking about SMED, we are reducing the setup time at the same time we do not want the machines to break down and that is possible if you implement TPM in the best possible way and there should not be any lapse as far as the TPM implementation is concerned. SMED reinforces other lean manufacturing tools also and should be used as part of an ongoing move towards continuous improvement. We look for methods to improve the process on continuous basis and we should encourage the Kaizen's coming from the operators. They will give us the ideas how to improve the change over process, how to improve the setting up the machine process. So, SMED can be more effective by involving operators and workers in the process and asking for improvement or suggestions from them and then finally, try to implement them also to get its benefit to the fullest extent. How do we use SMED? SMED as a lean tool can be used during a rapid improvement event, just do it or a project. Preparation for SMED event should include gathering data to support the current state, video recording should be there, current records should include change over time, frequency sheets, continuous improvement to do list to do jobs list should also be there and uptime calculation should also be there. Maintenance schedules should be part of the SMD event, safety concerns or the incident should also be made part of SMED event. Building a team with process knowledge, support and outside eyes should be also part of SMED event. How do we use SMED? Now, with this diagram, define setup and set fence posts. Two posts are to be set up, one for the last good product manufactured and the second one for the first good product manufactured, a new product manufactured. So, fence is there, 
in between the time is there and that is a change over time. In the slide, in the diagram, on the left hand side running product A is there and the last good product, its fence post is there. There is a gap, then the first good product B is there and its fence post is shown and then running product B of good quality. In between the time shown is the setup time or the change over time. Now, earlier the fence posts were a great distance apart. Now, the distance has been reduced and it has been made 50 percent. <coughs> now, set a goal of at least a 50 percent reduction from the current state. The first slide was the current state. This slide shows what we want. We want a 50 percent reduction in the change over time, 50 percent reduction in the setup time. That is why the posts, fence posts are installed closer and this is only to show what our intentions are. Our intentions are to reduce the setup time to 50 percent and this is setup time reduction. How do we use SMED? See the area and then review it with team and document the current state initial setup time. So, first we must know our present status, what is our current setup time. Now, capture the steps used in the changeover. Now, we have to see the steps, different steps used in making the changeover and then we have to see it carefully and thoroughly also. Document waste as it is observed and under the first step where we are capturing the steps used in the changeover, we have to map the entire changeover process and we have to look for the waste which are visible on the map of the process. Stay focused on the current state fence posts and now try not to jump ahead to improvement ideas. We have to concentrate only on the process map and this process map is the first initial state. If the things are unclear, visit the area again. If we are not able to capture what all steps are being carried out in the changeover process, we must visit the area again, so that we are familiar with the entire process. Create a bar chart to illustrate the current state and this current state will be now illustrated by making a bar chart. Show each step and the time it takes. On the bar chart, we have to show each and every step what we have observed so far. Try to stay proportional when building the chart. So, this chart bar chart should be made on a scale so that things are visible. The time taken at each step should be visible on the bar chart. Use the chart as a baseline to measure improvements. So, from the chart, if we are reducing the time and this will be a base for us to calculate any modifications, any changes, any reduction in time made. And this is the current state bar chart. Now, we will have the current state bar chart how do we use the SMD? So, current state is marked and the separate full step to internal and external activities are marked. So, we have to identify the internal activity and external activity. External activity which is done external to the machine where changes are made. Internal is the activity which is carried out on the machine itself and it is done when the machine is stopped and these are shown by two colors blue and green. Current state internal activity I is mentioned, separate full steps to internal and external activities. I is shown for internal activity. So, green, blue and green are shown. Convert additional internal to external activities. We want to, we want 
external activities more than the internal activities. So, we will try to make internal activities to external, we will convert internal activity to external activities. Third is convert additional internal to external activity. So, internal activities will get reduced, external activities get enlarged. Kaizen all remaining activity, adjustments, tweaking etcetera and then finally, map the future process what we are going to have and define and show the internal activities as well as the external activities on the bar chart and then try to get 50 percent reduction in the setup time. How do we use SMED? We are discussing how to use SMED. First, we map the initial present state and then we made the bar chart showing different activities, maybe internal activities, maybe external activities on the present method. And now, move internal steps to external steps. Internal steps are those steps that take place when the machine has gone down for the changeover. We are not making money here. Here, internal steps are those steps that take place when the machine has gone down for the changeover. As I already told, internal activity is the activity which is done on the machine and these activity can be performed only when the machine is stopped. And there are certain activities which are external to the machine which can be carried out external to the machine even if the machine is in running order. So, when the product A is being manufactured, certain activities will be carried out which are external to the machine for which we do not require to stop the machine. So, external activities are preferred over internal activities. We try to convert the internal activities into external activities so that the stoppage time for the machine is reduced that is the idle time of the machine during setup or changeover is reduced. Now, external steps are those steps that can be done either before the machine has gone down or after the machine has started up. So, we are still making money. Under this external activities under changeover or under setup are those activities which are carried out when the machine is in running order or when the machine has started production and those jobs can be done when the machine is running. The basic thing in external activity is that the production is going on, machine is in running order and the activities for changeover and activities for setup are carried out. So, this is a difference between internal activity and external activity and the idea behind making any modification is try to convert internal activity into external activity. How do we use SMED? Separate internal from external activities. Now, we have to completely separate the both type of activities, internal activities separately and external activities are to be kept separate. Because for internal activities, we are going to stop the machine for external activities, we are not going to stop the machine. Internal, what has to be done when the machine is down? We have already defined internal activity. And external, what can be done while the machine is still running? Maybe producing the product A and maybe when it is started production of product B, some activities can be carried out at that time also and these are external activities. Eliminate adjustments, poka yog, error proofing. So, we are to introduce the poka yog process also during the setup and during the changeover times. It should eliminate the adjustments. So, no adjustments be required when the setup is being made. Kaizen's change for the better internal activities and external activities. We have to concentrate on the Kaizen's and which are given by the operators for the setup time reduction, 
for the change over time reduction. And we have to see them carefully what sort of Kaizans are given to us and what sort of suggestions are given to us. And those should be implemented also. All those feasible Kaizans be implemented and all those useful Kaizans be implemented where the time reduction is great, those kind of Kaizans be implemented at the earliest date, at the earliest time, so that we are able to get full benefit of Kaizans while carrying out the SMED. Eliminate setup, tools, blocks, gauges, markings, etc. We have to eliminate all of them that will reduce the setup time reduction. Brainstorming ideas, we have to make use of brainstorming process also to get the ideas for making modifications and ideas for making changes. Look at the waste you observed in the video. I said a video may be made of the existing method and we can use micro motion cameras also for making the video. Then each activity and each step is to be thoroughly analyzed and it should be seen from the angle of making improvement in the existing process. Our aim is at this stage to reduce the setup time to 50 percent. This is only possible if we analyze each and every activity thoroughly and brainstorm ideas to remove it. Look at the waste you observed in the video and brainstorm ideas to remove it completely. Write ideas into action items on colored posts, have colored posts and write ideas there, say rearrange steps, walking point of use, make tool less and move to external means converting internal activity to external activity, different methods, standardized board. These are different ideas and that should be written on different colored boards to highlight the changes to be made and target the last, target the largest time blocks on the current state bar chart. Now, we are talking about the current state where the modifications are required to make the setup time to a 50 percent level. Look for the eight wastes in the process. Now, we will talk about the eight wastes and these eight wastes are to be seen thoroughly if these are present in the present process or not. Defects creating WIP work in process or waste, overproduction too much too early that is also a waste, waiting time, waiting for something before continuing the job. This is also a waste we are talking about the eight waste in the setting up process. Non-utilized talent damage to people. If the talent is not utilized, it will damage the people morale. Transportation moving people or materials from one place to another and which is not required, that is the transportation that is also part of waste. Inventory, accumulation of product to be worked, that is also a waste. We have talked about six waste. Seventh is motion, unnecessary human movement, turning, twisting, bending, taking steps, etc. We have to take care of this waste also. This is part of the motion and extra processing, non-value added to the process. This is the last waste. We have to take care of all the waste in the setting up process. Eliminate the setup. Believe that all setups can be eliminated on the average 86 percent of process is waste. So, 40 percent is only useful. If that is the aim before us, then we can reduce the setup time. Improve until it is single touch setup and uh, ideal state is less than 10 minutes. It is in single digit. We are talking about SMED which is a single minute. Single minute means single digit time, less than 10 minutes. It does not go to the two digits. Eliminate the setup through rapid improvement, events and projects and trial and error. Learn by doing it and feeling the difference. 
continue to believe that setup is a short term problem. Work to implement a long term solution. There is a short term problem and we have to implement the long term solution. Develop checklist for all items necessary for changeover, tools, gauges, materials, parallel operators. Perform checks on all items to ensure proper function and fit, tools sharpened, rebuilt or preset. Stage all items at the workplace, items should be available near the machine where setup is being made. Die cards, tool boards and think like the operator room and try to stay within a few feet of the process at all times. Prepare operating conditions prior to change over flush ready next product ready. Now the populate the impact matrix. Now I am going to show you the impact matrix. Difficulty on x axis, impact on the y axis and low difficulty, high difficulty, low impact, high impact. Now consider the quadrant where low difficulty, low impact when time allows. Difficulty is high, impact is low, this is kill it. Difficulty is high and impact is also high, action item and list it. When the difficulty is low, impact is high, do it this week. These kind of jobs be done immediately. And now build a pro forma and this pro forma bar on your bar chart utilizing the improvements that have been proposed and then finally we have to implement these changes so that we get the benefit of these changes which we have thought of. And do it, items should be carried out immediately. List action items, assign responsibility, meet back at regular intervals to discuss progress, update progress, it may take several rapid experiments to achieve optimal results. So today we discussed and different phrases which are used for setup time, change over time and SMED and other terms which are similar sounding but have a slight different meaning and we are able to define each and everything so that the viewers are able to grasp this topic thoroughly. We have used the impact of SMED also, how to use it. I hope we are able to make the things clear to the viewers. Now they should implement these things in their respective organization. Thank you so much. With this note, thank you, sir. Thank you so very much for giving once again a productive session. Thank you very much.